sorry I had to rearrange my cursor. Something's been bugging me lately. A lot of Linux-based, uh, a lot of mobile devices nowadays have become Linux-based. Netbooks, the Google Android phone, the Palm Pre, all of these run a Linux core. And there is just one thing that I do wish that these Linux distributions gave you, which they don't. Now, there are some netbook distributions that give you access um, to what I'm about to talk about, but it's not easy to get to. And that is the terminal. The terminal is basically, for those of you who run Windows, it's, it's like DOS. It's um, like the command line in Windows. The terminal gives you access to the command line in Linux, in which case you are able to install, excuse me, command line driven applications. Now I can understand why they don't want to give you command, com terminal access. Um, it's because they want to try and keep things as easy and simple as possible and they don't want to take a chance of somebody who doesn't know what they're doing really goofing up their system. But then we have the power user, somebody who enjoys using the terminal, somebody like myself. Um, I, I'm not a programmer, but I do enjoy using command line applications. I use, I use Finch for messaging. I use Lynx for web browsing. And I even use um, Clam Antivirus, which for those of you who may use it on Windows and may not be aware of it, on Linux, that's a command line application. There is no GUI for it, at least not by default. I think you might be able to install one, but by default, it's a command line app. And I love the command line. Um, I, I love surfing the web with the command line. I love doing instant messaging with the command line. And I love being able to manage applications on the command line. And I just wish that mobile devices that ran Linux gave you easier access to the command line, to the terminal. Um, there are some netbooks that do give you access. The Moblin Project is one of them. Uh, the Xandros that comes with the EPC, I'm told that you can get into the terminal, but it is not easy. Um... And there's one other Linux distribution that is also based on, um, I think it's based on Xandros. And what happens is it has a dual desktop mode where you can get out of the um, simplified desktop and get into the full-blown Xandros desktop, in which case you get terminal access, I think. But generally speaking, for mobile internet devices and uh, phones like the G1 and the Pre, that are Linux based. They don't give you uh, command line access. The level star icon is so easy to operate. It's a talking PDA. There is no screen for it, but it is so easy to operate that um, you don't even have to know Braille to operate it. You do not need to be fluent in, in adaptive technology to operate it. It's a very simple menu driven interface up and down to go through the menus left and right to move in and out of them. You just follow the audio prompts, and it's very easy to use. Yet at the same time, it gives you everything you could want in a portable device. It gives you web browsing. It gives you word processing. It gives you a book reader. It gives you an audio player. It gives you all these great things that you might expect in a mobile internet device, minus the word processor and calendar. Well, no, you got. I, I think you have a calendar, but minus minus the Office suite. But the Icon does have the Office suite, um, but that's only because we pay a great deal more for it. But the point I'm trying to make is, the device is an easy-to-use uh, device. Yet hidden in the menu system, I believe under... Um, oh shoot, I can't remember exactly... I think it might be under the Tools menu, is um, access to the terminal. And this is essentially a mobile internet device that's blindness-friendly, but it feels a lot like the other mobile internet devices like the netbooks and, and the MID units that run Linux, yet this gives you console access, it gives you access to the command line, and I just wish that more devices gave you command line access. Um, I can understand, again, I, I, I know why they're not doing it, it's to keep the people who don't know what they're doing um, from messing up their system, 
but I just think that for people who are a little bit more advanced in Linux, um, I just think it's a shame that we don't get access to the command line to, you know, run command line apps or, or perform bug fixes. I think the MIDs um, are going to be kind of sealed off from the public in the way they're, they're developed. I believe that was the case with the pre in the sense that they were using Linux, but in a way they were being closed-lipped about it. Was it the pre or was it something else? There was something that I did read that they said that they were developing a Linux operating system, but they were being very closed-lipped about it. Maybe it was the pre, uh, maybe not, but anyway, you know, I just wish they would be a little more open. I can understand why they chose Linux to develop. Uh, Linux is a great operating system. It's flexible. It's easy to configure for multiple environments. It is very, very, very customizable. You can cust you can build it to do anything you want. Um, and it supports a whole range of hardware options. So I can see why they chose Linux. It's for the power, the stability, um, the flexibility. But I do wish, again, that they just that they would just give us command line access, the, the power users command line access in some form. Uh, like I said, I know that there are some netbooks that do, but I believe um, it was either the Aspire 1 or the Xandros EPC that um, it's, not easy, it's not easy to get to the command line. You can do it, but it's not an easy task. Excuse me. So that's just my little two cents about that. And, Maybe in the future we'll see mobile internet devices that run Linux that give you command line access. Maybe we could have a warning saying, you know, the command line provides great um, application and usage, but at the same time it also allows you to modify essential parts of your system. You must know what you're doing before entering the command line. Do you wish to proceed? And basically just say yes or no. And just click on that and that way there is a barrier to the command line and even on top of that I think they should ask for an administrative password so that you can run um, the sudo commands right from the get-go and also will be a second level authentic of authentication so that if you don't know roots password you couldn't get to the command line anyway and this way you know if you know the if you know Basically, if you know what you're doing, you can go ahead and access the command line, but these safeguards would prevent your device from being uh, mishandled. But I think this would be, I, th I just think that for the power users, there should be um, access to the command line. Like I said, the only mobile internet device slash PDA that I know of that does that is the Level Star Icon. The only drawback to that device is that they want $1,395 for it because it is a specialized piece of equipment. It runs embedded Linux, but it's on, but it runs a specialized audio interface over the top that's designed for people who cannot see. Um, but at the same time, it's just as easy to use as a netbook, and it's just as easy to use as an MID, mobile internet device, and yet it also gives you command line access for people that, 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 that know what they're doing, that, that know their way around in Linux. And I just think that should be a standard for all mobile internet devices and Linux-based netbooks. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Comments and questions are welcome. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.